Hello everybody, Nyx here again, and today I'll be bringing you a PvZ between myself, the Red Protoss in the 7 o'clock position, and Cloud, the Blue Zerg in the 2 o'clock position. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be trying with this cast, and the reason I'm doing another cast of myself, is that I'm trying to work on my filler words. Um, see, there we go. As a lot of people pointed out yesterday, I say um a lot, and when it was pointed out to me and I watched those casts again I realized I did say I'm a lot so that is something I need to work on I'm glad though that what people don't like is the way I talk uh, rather than the way I sound a lot of people said I have a good radio voice and it's probably a good thing that it's not the other way around as I think it'd be harder to change my voice than the way I talk so we'll see how this goes hopefully I won't use too many filler words looks like I am going to be sending out my scout at 9 after dropping a pylon at my front we take a look at Cloud's base, it looks like he did do the gas trick to get that extra uh, drone before Overlord. My scout moving into the base now. I like to send a scout at 9 and get it in there as quick as I can in PvZ just to make sure there's no 6 pool coming. And if there is a 6 pool, I should have time to react. Looks like Cloud is going to be getting his gas on... 13 and a spawning pool on 13 and looks like I'm going to be getting my gateway on 13 but taking a look at the production tab both players just continuing to produce harvesters and I am going to leave this probe down in his expansion I like to do this in PVZ just block the expansion as long as possible and also if they don't take it for a while that's a good sign that some sort of early pressure is coming because they're probably building attacking units in their main instead of drones so by putting this down here, yeah, it helps me get a lot of information um, about what the Zerg player might be doing. So looking at Cloud, it looks like he is continuing to produce drones, which is good. Always need to drone up hard as Zerg. Take a look back at my base. I'm getting my gas. Got my second pylon. It looks like I am going to be throwing up a cybernetics core up here at my front. I like to leave just this little space here at my front, especially on this map, because everyone knows this back door is going to go down at some point so the smaller the choke at your front door is the better especially against zerg where they could just run zerglings by and i'm going to be getting that zealot out to fill that gap so no zerglings can get in if we take a look at cloud's base he is researching metabolic boost so we probably will see some speedlings early on here in this game and yes there are four zerglings on the way so because like i said he did not take this expansion down here so i'm expecting some sort of early pressure and it looks like I am right as there are now six Zerglings that will be on the field and Metabolic Boost being researched. Taking a look back at my base, I'm throwing down my second gateway. I've got my Zealot out, blocking this choke, so very good defense. No Zerglings are going to get by if he does send them. And he is sending out a Zergling to scout here. Did take out this probe. And it looks like, yes, more Zerglings on the way. I'm going to be throwing up a pylon at this back door with the destructible rocks here. Make sure I can see that, because if you get surprised to there, that can be GG, especially if roaches are involved. And it does look like there are going to be roaches, as he is throwing down a roach warren. Continuing to produce a lot of Zerglings as well. Not a whole lot of drones. So this Zerg is definitely going to be applying some early pressure to me. Um, as his economy really isn't that great. He only has 15 drones to my 22 probes. So he is going to be trying to make something happen early with these Zerglings here, it looks like. Roach Warren almost complete, so I'd expect to see some roaches fairly soon as well. Now it looks like these Zerglings are going to start working away at these destructible rocks back here. And if we take a look at the units tab, I really don't have much of an army. I've got two stalkers, a sentry, and a zealot. So I do see this happening back here, and I am going to send over these forces. Now one thing I do fault myself for is I probably should have left that zealot in the hole to keep it plugged, because these zerglings probably could have just run around, or at least some of them could have just run around and entered my base, and that would not have been good. But I am going to position these units right here at the destructible rocks. My sentry is enough for two force fields, so I can force field this ramp should I need to. I am getting two more... Or another stalker and a zealot out. And if we take a look at the production tab, uh, I am getting a void ray now out of the stargate that I threw up. Now, a void ray is really good against Zerg, especially if they go early Zergling roaches, because as everybody knows, those cannot attack air units. 
So this Void Ray is going to be crucial to my defenses. I really do not have a very large force here. And yes, here come the Roaches, and they are going to just destroy these rocks much faster than these Zerglings were. So I do need to pull these forces back over here to deal with this, which I should be doing. More Roaches on the way. And yes, here I go, pulling these back. The Void Ray. Looks like the Void Ray is done. So I am going to be moving over to defend this ramp. They are in the base and attacking the pylon. Throwing down a couple force fields to keep the roaches out while I deal with the zerglings. And these roaches are going to have to run. This is too big of a force for them to deal with, especially with this void ray. They are all going to die if they don't run. So these roaches are forced to run away now. Taking a look back at the base of Cloud, he just got his layer up. Continuing to produce some more uh, drones. Getting a Hydralis den and getting his second gas. So, having seen the Void Ray, he is going to be going for Hydralis to try to fend this off. And I am going to throw down a force field on this ramp here, cutting off five of these roaches from getting away. So that's a pretty good pickup for me there. If we take a look at the unit's loss tab, um, I am about 600 minerals ahead of him in terms of what I've killed. Or, yeah, what I've, what I've killed. Um, so, that is a good advantage for me, especially this early on. Continuing to pick off Overlords as well. Anytime you're playing against a Zerg player, the more Overlords you can pick off, the better. You can supply block him, that can really hurt a Zerg player, especially if they applied any early pressure, because they're not going to be able to make drones if you supply block them. If you take a look at the income tab, he's still pretty low on his drone count. 25 probes to 16 drones. So he does need to be making more drones. This Void Ray is going to start attacking this Queen, but it looks like we have a Hydralis just finishing. And it looks like they are going to pick off this Void Ray. It's a little bit of poor micro on my part, but I, so I do lose the Void Ray. But taking a look at the unit's loss tab, I did come out of that slightly ahead, I think. So I think I'm still in good shape. Taking a look back at my base, I am throwing down a robotics facility because I do know we're going to be seeing some sort of Roach Hydra play. So I will be getting Colossus most likely out of that. Getting another Void Ray out. Not really sure where it's going. Keep an eye on that. Anyways, this Cloud now throwing down his natural expansion here. And continuing to produce uh, overlords and hopefully drones. He does need more drones. If we take a look at the income tab, he's at 21 now, and that is not enough to saturate two bases. So he does need to keep producing drones. I am getting my expansion up as well. Continuing to produce probes. Take a look, the Void Ray is coming back, so I'm not sure why I sent that over there. I'm also sending out this worker to the watchtower here. Now I also am getting phoenixes. Um, I do know that he has hydralisk, hydralisks, but three phoenixes can do a good amount of harass to overlord, so I do always like to get some phoenixes. Um, and now that my expansion is going up, I'm also throwing up two more warp gates, getting that robotics bay up, so I am going to be getting Colossus. we take a look, these phoenixes are moving out to harass. And it looks like, yes, they're going to find six overlords unprotected and alone. So they're just going to pop these. And it looks like his hydralisks and roaches way down here at his natural. And can't get back up here because he hasn't connected the creep yet. So it's going to take him a little while. And I am going to pick off enough of these uh, overlords that I am going to supply block him fairly badly. 48 over 28. So that is going to hurt him a lot because he has to make more overlords now and he still does not really have as many harvesters as he should to saturate these two bases. So that's going to set him back.